Hello everybody and welcome to Drawing Waffles. Today I'm going to be drawing Avatar Aang. Yep, yep. This is not the first time I've drawn Avatar Aang and it will probably not be the last because he's that amazing. He's just one of those characters that when you sit down and you draw and you don't know what to draw, it ends up being Avatar Aang or a mermaid. But today it was Aang. Another factor that played a key role into me wanting to draw Aang this week was that I haven't drawn a dude in like forever. Almost the entire hundred years that Aang was trapped in an iceberg. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> anyway, we are now working on the second sketch layer, drawing the arrow and the coat and the shawl poncho thing he wears. <laughs> His air nomad outfit. And, um, I really didn't know what I was doing with this pose for the first <laughs> couple strokes. I really didn't know. So I was just really playing with it and trying to push it and make something worth looking at. Like, I moved around the legs a little bit, just trying to get it right, and I, like, flipped the canvas a bunch of times to see if I liked it the way it was, and then I made him a girl. That was kind of funny. Anyway. I believe it was around this time that I realized that his pose was a little wonky, because, like, nobody runs in that perfectly posed position, let's just say, okay? <laughs> so I was like, wait, his legs kind of remind me of the way when he sits on his little air bubble that he, like, f air scooter. I don't remember what he calls them. Is that what it is? Anyway, it looks like when he likes running on his air ball thing, and I was like, I'll go with that. That'll be a lot of fun. I've never drawn air balls before. Yeah. <laughs> so I went with it. And since he's not in like a complete sitting position, it's more like a halfway motion between sitting on his air scooter and jumping up and then using his glider to fly away from the bad guys and or just for fun. You know, it's angst. So that makes sense. Oh, and if you're wondering why it was upside down there for a second, that's just so I could do a perfectly round bald head. If you can't draw perfect circles, try that out. Just use your rotate tool, which is, I believe, just shift. Oh no, it's just the R button in Photoshop is the shortcut. So just hit R, and then when you click on the canvas, you get to just rotate it around. It can be a lot of fun. You can make him spin around like he's falling into a space vortex of some kind. And I'm not saying this like I've ever like spent like more than five minutes doing this. Like, no, who would do that? No. So we're just continuing with the line art, and by the time I get to his right hand or the left one on the screen, like when he's actually using his air scooter, he usually is more like punching the air when he's flying around on it, but I realized that I'm like in this in-between motion pose, and I want him to be like pushing off the air bubble and going up towards the glider, so I decided to give him a flat palm for his hand instead of the punch. I don't know. Artistic liberties. Oh, oh, and right there I just used the rotate tool again to draw straight lines for my, um, air glider. Um, because, frankly, I'm not gonna draw a straight line. I cannot draw a straight line. But if you have, if you use the R button and rotate the canvas so that where you want to draw would be a straight horizontal line, then you can hold shift and drag your little pen around and you will draw a straight line. It's like magic. Seriously. Oh, and this is the point in time where I decided to check my references because I really don't know what an air glider looks like because I don't really spend time drawing them that often, so... And please promise me, if you don't know what something looks like and you're trying to draw it, just look up a reference p picture, please! You'll just be so much happier in the future, trust me. Because if you wing it and then it's not right and then you just feel bad and you never want to look at that picture again. But if you use a reference, you can make it look the way it's supposed to and then everybody's happy! But let me also say that even with a reference, I had some real hard troubling times with this glider. Mm. I like redrew the little fan part like, uh, I don't know, I didn't count, but probably at least eight times. Probably closer to a hundred, but that's what it felt. Anyway. And then at one point I drew like the left side of the glider and I was like happy with it. And I was like, oh, maybe I can just copy paste it and then, you know, and then reflect it vertically. And then I can just only draw it once and then I'll be done. But mm, that didn't work because I didn't draw the... Um, the poles or the shaft in the glider the same size on one side as the other so uh, but then I decided to use that mistake as an actual plus side because he's not gonna hold the glider with it completely perpendicular to the camera so if I just keep it the way it is and then I'll have to redraw the, the fan yes but I can convey that one side of the glider is farther away by when I shade it and I was like I'll go with that you know what happy mistakes and I just talked completely through the coloring of Aang's outfit, so yeah. 
I actually decided to shade it today because I decided to go with it. Today was all about experimenting since I draw ink so many times. I was like, you know what, it's time to go for some um, creative bounds and leaps and try something new. Stop doing the same thing. Stop staying so comfortable. Do something. So I did. And I colored it. And especially since I had to for the glider to make that work because I wanted it to look cool. So I tried. I really tried. And let me just say, I'm actually really, really proud of the way the glider turned out, like the way I shaded it. I don't know where I got the idea to like put lighter spots in different ones. Well, I mean, well, I know it's gonna like come up higher or the wrinkles will like stick out so that part would be lit up a little, but wait, it turned out way better than I expected. And then when it came to this air bubble, like it's all experimenting, like I have no idea how to draw an air bubble. I mean, that doesn't really come up every day. It was all experimenting, so I made like a ball, added some gradients, and then added some lighter blue colors to add like wind gusts all over the place. I don't know, taking some inspiration from like Pokemon Wind and Bender Wind and from the cartoon, duh. <laughs> and then I just added a low saturated complementary color to the background so that the wind could stand out. Which brings us to the final illustration! I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me draw Avatar Aang from the last airbender. Um, let me know if you're watching Korra today. Book 4 just came out. I haven't seen it yet, so no spoilers. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys all next week. Have a delicious evening. Follow us all. Bye!